Now don't make me regret this, kid. I'm stowing away on a quest, see? And if the crew here gets wind of it, both our gooses will be cooked. So just sit here all quiet-like and don't do anything. Shh, quiet, kid. I can't believe it. You're already breaking rules one and three. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what. Just hide between those boxes and don't make any noise. You want to know about me? Here's a deal. I'm off to find Miss Hudson, see? I made it for the cardmaker district, uh, Five Tropolis, or whatever the queen's calling it these days. And... Quiet, kid, or you'll ruin the whole thing. Just, just, just go to sleep, kid. I'll wake you when we're there. Well, the moment she'd let herself think about it, even realized she was actually exhausted. Tonight alone, she'd seen a ghost run away from home and boarded a ship traveling somewhere deep into the unknown heart of Random. Would she ever return? It didn't matter. Odd was the only thing that mattered. With her sister's name on her lips, even fell into a deep slumber. Hello, Even. You're home. It's where you belong. There's no time. No time? No time. A wanna is a wanna. Is a wanna is a wanna. When you're right, you're right. Even. Come stay with us. Do you want some tea? Why do you need to see her? We've seen her before. Listen to your mother, even. It's a dangerous world out there. Listen to your mother, even. Stay here. It's safe here. We'll never leave you again. Not ever. Not ever, even. We'll always be here, even. You'll always be her, even. Her desires are odd. It's the only way she'll learn. Go. Even if you're lost. The Queen will find you. You've arrived, even. Soon you will find your voice. They never... I don't think they... They were denying you your future. 
robbing you of your true destiny. You're finally home. Wake up! Wake up, girl! No, 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 no! This whole time ship's falling apart, Tatter. Today's a difficult day for you, Herman. Take one of these bad boys! <laughs> As even lost sight of Herman, she realized she had also lost sight of her last connection to home. Okay. Still alive. Uh, I can work with that. As long as I don't land on water, I should be able to work with that. Uh, find time to remember I don't know how to speak. She hoped desperately that she'd land somewhere near Sixtown, but the wind and the fates had very different plans for her indeed. This place. She couldn't yet understand it, but even had landed in the middle of something exceptional. These were the ruins of a time long past and the magic she could almost sense in the air wasn't about to give up its secrets that easily. to come here in decades.
Um, I... Are you okay? Are you... Uh... Hello! Okay, uh, well, thanks for saving me back there. You were really, oh, well, <sighs> heroic. Right, <laughs> okay, talking to a dice. I better get going. You should too. This place is really dangerous. <laughs> Oh, um, I mean, I guess you can tag along. Uh, the more the merrier, right? Okay, even keep it together. You're talking to a dice now, even. And to yourself. There! Nice! Not a trap. <laughs> You don't just take things from people. Ugh, fine. You could hold on to them, I guess. Just don't digest them. It was clear that these were no ordinary cards, and Dicey was no ordinary dice. Something extraordinary was awakening.
Everton didn't understand what was happening to her and her new dice friend. But she didn't need to, for there was another, more obvious truth that she understood completely. She was truly and inarguably kicking robot butt! Even and Dicey were moving as one, an unstoppable fighting machine. Dice became more and more inseparable. team and as long as I'm going to be talking to you I should probably know your name uh -huh, right well how about if I just call you dicey perfect well let's see if we can find a way out of this place dicey that slumbered in this long-forgotten world even had just become interesting. And that was seldom good.
We're moving as one, an unstoppable fighting machine. dice became more and more inseparable. It's like something out of Mum's drawings. Ready, Dicey? <laughs> 
choosing to take that as a yes. 